Greetings, I'm Sacred Woman Practitioner Tatami, and I'm the host of the Sacred Sisters Circle. Every Monday, we get together at 7.30 in the morning, and we go through the gateways of Sacred Woman by Queen Afua from a root working perspective, as well as focus on other spiritual learnings from ancestral venerative and root working practices that um, relate to what we're learning in the gateways that month. When we meet on Mondays, our general schedule is to begin our morning with sacred movements. We're meeting at around 7.30 in the morning, so to get ourselves really collected and into our bodies and centered, we start with sacred movements. But if I hear and we do the movement, I am shrine, I am the temple, I am the sanctuary, I am the church, I am the mind, I am the cathedral, I am holy land, I am the altar. It is lost in our DNA, tapped down deep in our melanin, our kumor. So we travel deep within, and we fasted and we prayed. And then one day, one by one, Jarasavara, Shalom, Hamzalah, Hare Krishna, Hare Bose. Then two by two, Namyo Kurenge Yo, Hallelujah. With yoga as well. <laughs> I'm in the love moment, woman of the earth. I'm in the love moment, of divine spirit. I'm in the love moment, to the booty of the playful man. I'm in the love moment, dancing on to the mother. I'm in the love moment, by the side of the Creator. I'm in the love moment, I have heard this about of you. I'm in the love moment, to the great mother to earth. And some womb dancing just to really connect with our spirits in a freer manner. After we do our sacred movement, we focus our energy on um, pouring libations and then move on to our studies for that day using different texts which i will talk about next um throughout our circle we also try to always um spend some time talking about the 42 laws of mott which are a moral code that we as sacred women try to follow and we also focus on learning the Adinkra symbols, um, their meanings and uses, um, through using these Adinkra ancestral guidance cards from um, adinkraliving.com. Um, I highly recommend them. They are to be used as a divination deck, but um, also to be used for, you know, learning purposes, which is what we use them for here in this circle. Um, so uh, we focus on these two because not only are the the um, meanings impactful to our lives as sacred women and as root workers, but the meaning is also applicable to our um, working of roots uh, if we want to apply um, any uh, meditation, chanting, or symbolism to any of uh, our work. I do not pick, but I do not trust anything, not even my own side. They don't want you, they want you to fall. But I'm not falling, I'm rising above them all. And now they want my soul. And now they're singing my song. But they just think I love now. Mother game, I strong. One of the books that you will definitely be seeing as we journey through the gateways is Sacred Woman by Queen Ahua. Um, I say that not any of the books are um, mandatory, but I think that if you are going to buy any of the books that we discuss, this should definitely be the book that you buy because um, there are things that I skip over, of course. It's such a thick book. Um, and of course, you know, you'll want to read the words and make your own opinions, make your own notes in the margins. Uh, so this is a really good book to have if you're following along with the Sacred Sister Circle.
The other book that we um, work in a lot, but do not necessarily follow through with, is the Womb Healing Workbook, Punani Proverbs. Um, I wrote this one, and it's a workbook that you write in the book um, to connect with yourself, to connect with your womb, to really um, write down and make decisions about who you are and you know what it is that you're going through at this time. Mules and Men by Zora Neale Hurston. Um, we don't go through this one as often, but I think it's really important to have um, a historical groundwork to um, base a lot of your ideas about root working and hoodoo on. Um, and this is written, you know, by somebody who was there, who was witnessing, who was learning these old traditions um, from the elders around her. Um, and so through that, Zora really left a treasure. Um, so if you're looking for other reading while you wait for us to tap into this book, um, which we did a couple times last year, um, then definitely add this one to your must-buy list. Um, Work and Dem Roots Guide to Ancestral Hoodoo, written by Medicine Man, the Hoodoo Man, um, swampwaterroots.com. Uh, I think this book is probably the number one root working book that we um, work with that's from this time, um, just because... Uh, it's authentic, it's to the point, and it really explains a lot of what we're doing. Um, because, you know, we are trying to do uh, root working and hoodoo from a perspective of not like this modern idea of needing recipes from others online, but from the authentic version that, you know, blossoms from within ourselves um, as sacred women, too. The Art of War by Sun Tzu, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but I think um, this especially is a good book for helping us um, look at um, situations logically and um, in uh, the with the air of a commander, with the air of somebody who um, is able to break down a situation and see what they need to do next. Um, so for that reason, I recommend this book, and we do use it occasionally. So this is the Dust to Onyx guidebook, which comes with the Dust to Onyx tarot. Um, I use this for bibliomancy and other divinatory practices. I really love the book, and I do um, highly recommend getting the deck um, so that you can have this really useful treasure that's so clearly connected to the ancestors as well. I recommend and read out of the Dead MC Scrolls all the time, not only because I think the content of this book is so well um, written and portrayed, but because um, I think that the cadence of it really mirrors the Egyptian um, Book of Coming Forth by Day, um, aka the Book of the Dead. Um, I think that it really helps you to be able to read this more modern text and then read that other text and really find the similar rhythms that help, do help you be able to read. Um, that is one of the reasons why poetry is so well loved by people is because it does have that flow and it is so much easier to read once you get that rhythm going and comprehend once you get that rhythm going. Um, Women Who Run With the Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Dr. Pink, uh, Clarissa Pinkola Estes. Um, it's a very uh, spiritual text. It has so much wisdom from so much, so many feminine archetypes and womb bearers from around the world, different cultures. Um, I think that's why this book is so um, well loved by people. Um, and I also chose this book because I am Afro Latina, and I do um, want to, you know, have that connection of the indigenous cultures just because I know some other people are and some other people are just you know curious about these other places in the diaspora where um, black people happen to you know land as well millions more in fact than in America landed in South America um, and the surrounding islands. 
Um, so that also brings me to the Aztec Book of Destiny, which I think is a must-have if you are Afro-Latina um, and you are looking to make that connection because a lot of the, um, what, you know, what they come to find out with the South American indigenous people is while they did have many different languages, many different cultures, there were a lot of similarities, especially towards the end when the conquerors would have come. And um, they find that, you know, they had a very similar written language. So people across this vast land could communicate with each other. There were many books. Um, this is one of the few that survived the mass book burnings. Um, and it is such a powerful text and a, a, a por important one um, in which the um, indigenous peoples of South America had a year that was nine months the gestational period of a, of a human pregnancy. And um, I think it, it, it makes so much sense. It's such a powerful way of looking at things, a cyclical way of looking at things. And um, I really highly recommend it. So um, if, you, if you're interested or if you are in some way related to that bloodline. Lastly, I have my Egyptian Book of Coming Forth by Day, Book of the Dead, um, the complete pap papyrus of Ani. I'm going to read you the names of the people because this version happens to have the actual plates above the words so you can compare and contrast. Uh, contrast. Uh, Dr. Ogden Goelet, G-O-E-L-E-T, Jr., Dr. Raymond O. Faulkner, Carol A.R. Andrews, J. Daniel Gunther and James Wasserman were the um, translators, I'm guessing, for this is what their, their names are here for. So um, this edition is really large. It, the words are, are large and easy to read and have a plenty ample room for, for little notes in the caption or in the sidelines, you know. Um, and so, yes, I highly recommend this one, and I do read from this one occasionally as well um, while we're reading and going through the gateways. In addition to going through the gateways, we also focus on our root working tradition, our ancestral traditions, not only through reading texts and um, written words, um, but also through actual practice, um, doing different work um, and throwing different tricks, um, such as making mojo bags and um, using jars and other container magic, and uh, really focusing on our growth of um, as root workers, conjure women, witch doctors, witches, um, brujas, however we identify and um, infusing that spirituality into our everyday life um, in a way that really honors um, the old root working traditions of our ancestors. If you end up liking the Sacred Sister Circle, I highly recommend that you go on to patreon.com slash sacred sister circle and donate one to five dollars a month. This way you'll have access to a bunch of articles, PDF files, um, books that I have uploaded for people who are members of the Sister Circle. Um, these There are some that are for free, so you should still look on there even if you're not planning on donating. Um, but I think that having all of those different little resources really helps round out your journey and give you different resources to look into in your free time and um, give yourself something to do every day as you're working through your vision. If wherever you are, whatever time of the year it is that you're seeing this, you decide to join the Sacred Sister Circle and start your journey today. Your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads and I hope to see you next Monday.